I'm back from scouting. Well, I'm all ears. Now tell me what you found out one thing at a time. I tried to count them. And? How many? And bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want wayfarers getting robbed because there's no one left to protect them. I'd guess 50. Quite a formidable force. Perdition. We will definitely need reinforcements, but our Talberg men should suffice. I don't like leaving the castle unprotected, but there's no other option. I'll use you as a messenger. Go to Talmberg and tell them Sir Robard is asking for reinforcements. Cutthroats, bandits, and gallows bait. Hardly your average village rogues. No more than I expected. I've no fear of them, but underestimating the enemy can be fatal. There are not only bandits in the camp, but cumans as well. Quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Could Sigismund have left them here after he raised Scalitz? I like this less and less. I took a look at their armor. They are not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well, especially the cumans. They are wearing full armor. What about archers? There's a few of them, and they're positioned well. If we charge them head-on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. They are up to something in the middle of the camp. It looked like they were making several long ladders. Ladders? I hope they're not planning a siege. Harry, this is more serious than I thought. Ladders. That changes the whole situation. But it also gives us an ace up our sleeve. You know where we're going to get the tools to besiege their fortifications? Right there, from them. That's all I know. You've learned a lot, lad. No time to waste. We'll attack as soon as we can. So today is the day, no matter what, we're going to be toe-to-toe -to -toe with bandits, with cumans, who are definitely stronger and have better armor than I do. But before that, I have to wonder, what's going through the mind of Henry? He's 20 or 30 years old. I have no clue how many battles, if any, he's been in. How many people he's had to kill in the line of service. But we know today is going to be big. And when you get out on the field and you're there with, uh, did I say 50 men? 50 men. And we are taking on an opposing force. Mentally, do you get the courage to push forward? Do you flee? And you have to wonder. It, it, it reminds me of... An actor, a, an actor who has prepared and prepared to go onto a stage, read lines, perform as someone they are not. And beforehand, they have all of these nerves. And when they hit the stage, when they move forward and the crowd sees them for the first time, all of those worries fall away. All of those thoughts of anxiousness are gone and it is the skill and the practice that allow them to shine and we are we are those actors we 
are those people who have learned over time our skill and trade as a swordsman. And when we get on that battlefield, I feel those nerves will fall away and we will do what we have to do to win. But if we fail, Helmsburg and the towns around it will will not be good because of it. We'll most likely see death to the civilians. We'll see a siege upon the Townsburg keep. And it could spread. And that is what we are here to stop. It's not it's not that we're fighting for ourselves. We're not fighting for our liege. We are fighting specifically to save the citizens and I feel that this is going to be a day to remember sent me he asked for reinforcements reinforcements anything else the bandits and cumans have set up camp in pribislavitz robard has taken up position a little to the south of there and is getting ready to attack hang on hang on cumans are you sure i i'm sure they have fortifications tents and horses and there's too many of them for robard to deal with without reinforcement so it's worse than we thought eh all right i won't keep you waiting how many men do you need Ten men should do. All right, wait by the gate. I'll send you whoever I can spare. Bad. We're almost at the place you described. Now we have to advance cautiously. Tell me how it looks around the camp, so I can decide from which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I don't think I... I asked you a question, for heaven's sake. You've been there and seen everything, so speak up. There are three ways to get in. Directly, along the straight path to the camp, the long way, round through the woods and over an old weir, or by a narrow bridge over the deep ditch. Let's start with this direct route, which sounds like the most convenient approach. How does it look there? There are fortifications there, but it shouldn't be a problem to get past. It's the fastest way inside. The fact that it's a firm road is good, but I don't like the sound of fortifications. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way through the woods, but if it's the better option... It's a long way through the woods, and there are patrols there too. They'd call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. What about that last approach, over the bridge? It's a bit narrow for my liking. It'll be slow getting over the bridge, but otherwise there's almost no resistance. And on the other side, we'll have good ground for a battle. When I think of it, it sounds pretty good. Only that damned bridge. It's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. You will be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. 
With the help of God, we will win this day. To the bridge! Quickly! Get to the other side, as many of you as possible! And hold your position there! Take down those archers! Quick! Arrows! Shields overhead! The surprise is on our side! Charge them! Some of you take the left flank! We'll attack in two places! Charge! Kill them now! Those ladders! Drive that rabble away from them! We can use them! The camp is ours! Now to conquer the church! We'll see about that this very day. Ten Groshen to whoever ties his muzzle. You must be chasing women away with a stick. Glory! Everyone inside and give no quarter! Victory is ours!
Surrender and you'll get a fair trial. They'll hang you anyway, but you'll have a chance to make your confession. Take him down. His carcass will hang on the gates of Tarnberg this very day. Give up. This won't take long. I'll slay you, you scum. To hell with you. Come and get me! Damn! I thought I could handle it! I'm He's really not finished! Up for this. Victory is <laughs> ours! Have enough. Thank God it's over. Thanks for your help, lad. Without you, it could have turned out very differently. <coughs> That's the fear leaving you. <laughs> Let it go. And now leave here and forget everything. A decent Christian should not have such memories. You're mistaken, sir. I never once forget this. The time has come for them to pay for what they did to us. All right, so we are done. We have won the battle, and Talmsburg is now safe. We have taken out the bandit leader, and we have, um, I I've enjoyed this a whole lot. There were a lot of things that I saw that could probably be resolved as far as, um, issues, but to be honest, they weren't really hindering the game. And we have to remember that this isn't coming out until next year. 
So I'm I'm fine with the fact that there's still going to be changes to to the game. So next time we're going to move on. I know that there is another city that we have not um, gone to yet, and we will go ahead and get those quests done that are there. And this will include the alchemy. So I hope you enjoyed this. I didn't want to talk too much through it. And I just want you to enjoy the battle by itself. I felt me talking over it probably was not the best idea. So I hope you enjoyed. As always, this is Cypher Deck. Peace out.